I want to go through how to use MyOpenMath to do graphs. So some of the questions you'll be asked to plot points. So for this, before you start, you need to make sure you're on dot. If you're online, you're not going to get points. So what you would do is you would, let's see, our first point is x is 3, y is 4. You simply click where you want the point. x is negative 4, y is negative 3. X is positive 4 and Y is positive 1. And finally, X is positive 2, Y is negative 4. And we'll go ahead and hit Submit. And it looks like I was off by just a little bit on one point. Unfortunately, we're going to have to clear everything and start again. But I do know that my other points were correct. So 3, 4. And notice I'm already making mistakes because I forgot that I have to go ahead and click on that dot again. So let's do this one more time. Okay, negative 4, negative 3, 4, 1, and 2, negative 4. And that was even worse that time. If you get to the point where you're really frustrated, just click on the message instructor about this question and if I can see you're awfully close I can just go ahead and mark it correct for you. Let's see if I can get this correct and I got them all right that time so they were not exactly on but close enough. Let's look at graphing lines. Follow, make sure you follow the directions. This one says graph the following line by plotting the intercepts and connecting them with a line. Your final graph should contain a line and two dots. So the two dots are going to be our x and y intercepts. So let's go ahead and figure out what our x and y intercepts are. Okay, so we had negative 5x plus 5y equals negative 10. The first thing I do is let x equal 0. When x is equal to 0, I have negative 5 times 0 plus 5 times y equals negative 10 or 5y equals negative 10. Finally, y is equal to negative 2 after I divide both sides by 5. So this corresponds to the point 0 comma negative 2. The next point I'm going to do is the y intercept, excuse me, the x intercept, which is when y is equal to 0. So in this case, I'm going to have negative 5x plus 5 times 0 is equal to negative 10 or negative 5x equals negative 10. This corresponds to x being equal to 2. So that point is 2 comma 0. So I'm going to take those two points and plot them on my graph. So the first one was x being 0 and up oh, Look at this, I forgot to start with the dot. Let's do the dot first. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 2. And when y is equal to 0, x is equal to positive 2. So I've first done my dots, and now I'm going to draw the line. So I clicked on the line, and I'm going to click on my first dot, and then click on my second dot, and then I'm going to submit. Sometimes though, instead of being asked to graph it by the intercepts, you'll be asked to do it using the slope and y-intercept. In this case, it says your final graph should contain a line and a dot. So we're going to first start off at our y-intercept, which is positive 3. And then I'm going to click on the line again. I'm going to start at the y-intercept. y is equal to positive 3 and x is equal to 0. The slope is negative 2, so that means I go down 2 in y and over 1 in x. So that, well, I have a feeling I missed the point by just a little bit. So let's try this one one more time. I'm going to pick my point y is equal to 3 when x is equal to 0. And I'm going to click on my y-intercept and then move at dropping down 2 and over 1. And let's see if we got the answer right this time. And I'm good to go for this one. Again, if you get overly frustrated in how to type this in, um, just click on that message instructor about this question because I'm happy to clear it up if it's real close and I can tell that you know what you're doing. Obviously on the exam, just like the first test, it'll be on paper and pencil, which I think is a lot less frustrating than trying to do this online.